So, uh, thank you for introducing. Uh, I am Atmari Hoseyamada from LPT Sekia Platform Laboratories. Uh, today, I present uh, our paper, Quantum Mars Collision Finding Algorithm. Uh, this is a joint work with uh, Yu Sasaki and T. Takasawa, uh, who are uh, my colleagues. Uh, this is outline of my presentation. Uh, firstly, I begin with uh, backgrounds. So, uh, this is a collision finding problem. Uh, collision finding problem is the most uh, one of the most important problems in crypto, and applications can be seen everywhere in crypto. Uh, and uh, collision uh, of the function f is defined to be a pair of elements in the domain of function uh, which are mapped to the same value uh, by f. And in our paper, uh, we focus on a uh, generalized problem, a uh, multi collision finding problem. Uh, in this problem, uh, our goal is to find a multi collision of F. And uh, so multi collision, uh, the definition of multi collision is uh, the couple uh, of uh, elements in the domain of F, which are mapped to the same value uh, by F. Uh, this picture illustrates the example of three collision. So uh, we can consider similarly uh, four collision, uh, five collision, six collision, and general L collision. And I said that uh, the collision finding problem is uh, one of the most important problems in crypto. And uh, large collision is uh, also an uh, important problem in crypto, and uh, especially for symmetric cryptography. So, and uh, complexity to find multi collisions are uh, used to evaluate the security of cryptographic schemes. Uh, for example, uh, lower bound is used in proof of security, and upper bound is used in generic attacks. And so, after seeing these uh, applications, uh, I can say that uh, multi collision will be important also for post quantum security. And in our paper, we focus on the case that uh, domain size is much larger than domain size and the target function is random, uh, which are uh, typical settings in crypto. And so next, uh, in cluster computations, uh, the tight bound to find the multiple collisions are known. So uh, the problem is well studied and well understood. Uh, so a uh, cluster tight bound of queries to find a net collision of a function f is uh, order l to the power l minus 1 over l. So uh, if L is 2, then the bound becomes L to the power 1 over 2, uh, which is known as birthday bound. And if L is 3, uh, the bound becomes L to the power 2 over 3, and so on. And I note here that uh, this bound is uh, for average case, uh, I mean F is a random function, and the complication depends on the size of codomain. Codomain F. So uh, after seeing this result, uh, my question is, uh, so how about quantum algorithms? Uh, is there any better bound uh, than the classical bound? Uh, this is my question. And uh, from now on, uh, I move to uh, quantum computation. And uh, so we use global algorithm. So now I explain a multi-stalled previous research using global algorithm. Uh, so uh, let's consider this problem. Uh, given a function f, list uh, l, and then I uh, find uh, x such that f of x is in L. So uh, let's consider uh, how many queries do we need to find such x? Then uh, in uh, sorry, uh, then uh, let p equals to the finite of uh, f inverse of L. Then in the cluster setting, uh, we need order L over t queries to find such x. But in the cluster setting, using the global algorithm or its generalizations, we can find the such x uh, with order the square root of n nova t queries. Uh, so uh, these are the backgrounds. And next, uh, I, move to, I move to a systematization of knowledge. So uh, actually, uh, there is a trivial quantum upper bound to find the multi volumes. Uh, so let's consider, uh, given a function f uniformly at random. Uh, here I consider uh, n is greater than or equal to l times n, and l is a small, small constant. And so, uh, what is a trivial complexity to find an evolution of f? So, uh, actually, uh, we can find an evolution from, uh, with uh, order n to the power 1 over 2 queries. Uh, this can be done with, uh, by uh, running a uh, previous search using global n times. So, uh, I 
right and say that. Uh, this bound, order L to the power 1 over 2, uh, is a trivial upper bound of quantum queries for small L. And so, uh, non trivial quantum algorithm should give a better bound than this one. And so, next week, uh, I explain uh, the case of two collisions. Uh, for the two collision problem, uh, there is type bound. A uh, type bound is known. So, a uh, quantum type bound of queries to find the two collisions of a random function of H uh, order n to the power 1 over 3. Uh, this uh, this uh, result was proposed uh, by Chandi. And so, uh, this bound n to the power 1 over 3 is uh, lower than uh, n to the power 1 over 2. Uh, and thus, uh, I can say that this bound is non trivial bound. And so, so uh, how can we find a collision with uh, this quantum complexity? Uh, okay, uh, next uh, I explain uh, how to find two collision of a random function f. But uh, to construct uh, such quantum algorithm, now here I need the worst case algorithm to find the multiple collisions. So uh, we can find a collision of any function f with uh, this complexity. Here, uh, this algorithm is worst case algorithm. I mean, uh, f is assumed to be any function. And <coughs> this complexity uh, depends on the size of domain. So, uh, for example, if L is 2, then the bound becomes M to the power 2 number 3. And if L is 3, uh, then the bound becomes M to the power 5 number 7, and so on. And so, if L is much larger than N, then the complexity becomes worse than trivial bound. However, uh, for the case L is 2, uh, then uh, there is a way to get a better bound uh, using these worst case algorithms. Uh, so, uh, next week, uh, I explain how to construct a uh, quantum algorithm, uh, quantum algorithm uh, for a random function f uh, using this worst case algorithm. So, uh, let's consider a uh, random function f. Uh, firstly, uh, take a subset uh, capital X of size order to the power 1 over 2 uh, uniformly at random. <coughs> then, uh, there is a 2 collision in X. Uh, with, constant, uh, with constant probability. And next, apply a uh, worst case algorithm uh, we described, uh, I did, described before uh, on uh, the restricted function f. Uh, f is now restricted on the subset x. Then uh, we can find a two collision uh, with order the finality of x to the power 2 over 3 queries. And thus, uh, since uh, the cardinality of x is now ordered to the power 1 over 2. Uh, thus, uh, we can find a 2 collision uh, with about uh, m to the power 1 over 2 to the power uh, 2 over 3, uh, which is equal to m to the power 1 over 3 from the queries. So, uh, now uh, this bound is better than uh, the trivial bound. And so I can say that uh, this quantum algorithm is non trivial quantum algorithm. And next, uh, so this is uh, the case of two collisions, normal collision. And next, uh, I extend this technique for the case uh, L is greater than or equal to three. So uh, this is the quantum algorithm for two collisions. And for general case, uh, I modify uh, like this. So eventually, I get this bound order n to the power l minus 1 over l to the power 1 minus 2 to the power l minus 2 over 2 to the power l minus 1 for the series, uh, which is very complex. And so, okay, okay. So, is it better than order n to the power 1 or 2? Uh, this is the question. And actually, uh, so we get uh, the bound like this. If l is 2 or 3, then this bound is better than the trivial bound. So, it's okay. Uh, the bound is non trivial. But, however, uh, for the case L is greater than or equal to 4, uh, then the bound becomes worse than the trivial bound. So, uh, it's a problem. And new quantum algorithm is needed for the case L is greater than or equal to 4. <coughs> okay, uh, so uh, these are the systematization of knowledge. And next, I move to uh, new quantum algorithm and our main results. So, uh, this is our main 
with that. Uh, we proposed a quantum algorithm to find the merge points. And so uh, suppose M is greater than or equal to L times N. Then uh, for arbitrary F, uh, an algorithm can be found with uh, this complexity. And so uh, please pay attention to the right hand side, uh, right side of this equation. Uh, this bound is better than the trivial bound. So I can say uh, our quantum algorithm is non trivial quantum algorithm to find the multiple points. And so uh, this uh, graph uh, shows uh, the results of uh, our quantum algorithm. Uh, if uh, L is 2, then our bound matches the previous bound. And if L is 3, then our bound uh, improves uh, the previous bound. And if L is greater than 1 uh, equals to 4, then the, our bound is non trivial. Uh, these are our results. And on the uh, next week, I explain our uh, idea of quantum algorithm. So uh, our idea is uh, to combine a BHC algorithm uh, with recursion. So uh, the BH algorithm <coughs> is a quantum algorithm uh, proposed by Brassard, uh, Oya, and Tapp, uh, which is a quantum algorithm to find two polynomials uh, with order n to the power one or three quantum degrees. So uh, now uh, I explain uh, how this quantum algorithm works. So uh, firstly, uh, this BHC quantum algorithm uh, takes a subset capital X of size order n to the power one plus three in, uh, uniformly at random and calculate f of x for uh, all small x in capital X and store the pair x f of x in a list of n. And next, uh, for the second set, uh, find a small x prime which is in uh, domain but not in capital X uh, such that the value f of x prime is in f using the global search. So uh, this is uh, the uh, BHC algorithm. And for the complexity analysis, uh, the step one requires order n to the power one of the uh, because uh, we calculate f of x for uh, all small x in capital X. And for the second step, uh, we, uh, we use global search and the quantum complexity is uh, order the square root of n over the cardinality of n. And this is equal to order n to the power 1 of 3. So uh, summing up these complexities, uh, we obtain uh, the, the desired bound. This is the BHC algorithm. And uh, so uh, our idea is to combine this algorithm with recursion. So uh, let's uh, check uh, the example of 3 polytons. So uh, from 2 polytons to 3 polytons. Okay. So uh, firstly, I collect order n to the power 1 over 9 many 2 polytons and store these polytons in a list of n. And second step, uh, extend one of the two polytons in n to three polytons using the global search. Uh, this is almost the uh, same as BSD algorithm. And for a complex analysis, uh, the, first, the first step requires uh, order n to the power 1 over 9 queries, since uh, here uh, I call uh, quantum algorithm to find two polynomials for L to the power uh, 1 over 9 uh, times. So uh, the complexity becomes uh, this times this. Uh, this is a query complexity to find two polynomials. So uh, the uh, quantum query complexity of step 1 uh, becomes like this. And for the second step, uh, as similar as uh, BHC algorithm, uh, the quantum query complexity becomes like this. Uh, so uh, the query complexity becomes uh, again uh, order n to the power of one over nine. And summing up uh, these complexities, uh, we get order n to the power of one over nine. And uh, this is the example of uh, three polytons. And similarly, uh, using the uh, quantum algorithm to find the three polytons, we can find four polytons like this. And uh, the quantum query complexity uh, to find four polytons is order n to the power 13 uh, over uh, 27 queries. So uh, these are examples of three polytons and four polytons. And generalize uh, these techniques. Uh, we obtain uh, the generalized quantum algorithm to find uh, L polytons. So uh, let me denote 
our, uh, our quantum algorithm as n calls not f a. So firstly, uh, my, our quantum algorithm uh, collects all the n to the power, one over three to the power, n minus one, many n minus one polytons by running n call f uh, n minus one. Uh, this is our quantum algorithm to find n minus one polytons and store them in a detail. So uh, in the step one, uh, we, uh, I recursively call our quantum algorithm to find L minus one quotient. This is first step. And nextly, in the second step, uh, extend one of uh, these L minus one quotient in L to L quotient using the flow of such. Uh, similarly, as the BST algorithm. So, uh, firstly, uh, I collect uh, L minus one quotient uh, <coughs> many times. And uh, this is first step. And next three, in the second step, uh, I extend one of these L minus one polynomials to L polynomials. This is uh, our idea of quantum algorithm. And so, uh, next three, uh, for the uh, uh, complete HT analysis, uh, the first step requires uh, this quantum query complete uh, So, uh, in the first step, uh, we call uh, quantum algorithm to find L minus 1 polynomials, uh, L to the power 1 over C to the power L minus 1 times. And uh, this is the query uh, complexity uh, of our algorithm to find L minus 1 polynomials. And the complexity becomes like this. And for the second step, uh, the complexity becomes like this. And summing up these two complexities, uh, we obtain the desired bound. Okay, uh, these are uh, our main results, uh, our main uh, quantum algorithm. And actually, uh, we obtained this term, uh, suppose m is greater than or equal to greater than n, then uh, for our very uh, function f, uh, our quantum algorithm can find a negative not f uh, with expected quantum query complexity at most like this. So, uh, to prove this theorem, uh, we gave uh, rigorous uh, mathematical proof and uh, analysis. Uh, but the uh, technique is uh, somewhat complex, and uh, I don't uh, describe uh, the proof here. Uh, so, uh, for more details, uh, please read our paper. And so, uh, I move to summary. Uh, we propose a new quantum algorithm that finds mass photons with non trivial quantum query competency. And uh, our one improves uh, previous one for the case L is greater than or equal to 3. Uh, these are, uh, this is our result. And uh, the further result direction is that uh, there are uh, three further result directions. Uh, one is, uh, so uh, is there any better upper bound? Uh, this is uh, first direction. And uh, second direction is, uh, what about the upper bounds? So uh, in our paper, uh, I uh, we focus on only uh, upper bound of query complexity. So, uh, but uh, we are also interested in the lower bound of complexity. And finally, uh, what can we say about time complexity? Uh, in our paper, uh, we focus on only quantum query complexity and not time complexity. And so, uh, actually, uh, for normal two polynomials. Uh, the time complexity to find the two polynomials uh, becomes uh, sometimes a controversial. Uh, and so uh, our quantum algorithm uh, actually runs with similar time complexity uh, as uh, quantum query complexity. But uh, we need a highly developed uh, quantum hardware and we need many, many qubits. So, uh, but uh, however, uh, I believe that. Uh, this uh, new bound uh, gives a uh, new insight to us about uh, the post quantum security of uh, crypto schemes. Uh, so that's all. Uh, thank you for attention. So I can add the first uh, open research question, and this is about the space complexity, memory complexity. Yeah. Uh, because in the classical algorithms, uh, there is a big difference between two collisions and three collisions. Yeah. Two collisions using raw, uh, uh, the raw method, you don't need any memory. For three collisions, you need a lot of memory. Ah, yeah. And uh, 
in your, uh, if you are using uh, n to the one half uh, quantum algorithm, uh, calculating uh, inverses, again, you don't need any memory, regardless of uh, what is the multi-collision. Yes. But uh, in your algorithm, you need a lot of memory. Yes. So is it clear what is the uh, trade-off? For example, if I only allowed you a small amount of memory, what will be the best uh, running time in the quantum algorithm for finding three collisions, four collisions, etc.? Uh, uh, it is a very, a very interesting question. And uh, so uh, and I think uh, I have to uh, uh, study uh, like uh, uh, so this topic, uh, but uh, I have not uh, uh, studied uh, enough. So uh, I can say uh, nothing uh, not here. Okay. Any other open problem? Okay. Are there anything known about lower bound other than like other than superposition case? Uh, yeah. Uh, so actually, uh, there is uh, no uh, lower bound other than uh, two oh. So uh, yeah. So uh, please find the lower bound. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it is possible to find lower bound other than two and uh, Grover's algorithm to uh, speed up the method to find a clean such as for Xiaowan? Uh, yes. I, th I think uh, there is uh, something uh, that we can do. So, uh, but uh, I have not studied so much. <laughs> so please, please break Xiaowan. <laughs> 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 Definitely yes. <laughs> the answer is definitely yes because uh, what uh, Xiao Wang did was uh, to uh, have in the first few rounds of Xiao Wang something which is very structured and beyond it to do a search for uh, a solution to a random search problem. So in the second part of Wang's algorithm, you can just apply over and this will definitely speed up uh, their time complexity. So you can combine them, but in a very trivial way. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Any others? Okay, next time speakers. <laughs>